I'm Jeff Teague, and this is the all-new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. To be more specific, this is the calligraphy trim level in Serenity White Pearl. Just like Frank Costanza in Seinfeld. Serenity now! So here's the game plan here. I'm so impressed with the redesign, especially the interior. On the outside, though, it's boxy, it's tough, it's rugged. It's not like the Santa Fe of old. No, not at all. Complete fresh look but inside the interior is fantastic. The issue is there are so many new buttons, gadgets, dials, gizmos, things like that, that we gotta learn it together. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a guided tour. I'll be your tour guide with the cheesy jokes. And I'm gonna show you all that makes this one really cool. Our interior tour begins with this extra wide terrace, we'll call it. So wide, we've readjusted the lights, the lifts, so that we can have the most space possible for cargo and for people. Imagine just hanging out here on the terrace, on the veranda. We could do that. I'm hanging out here, even if it's wet and rainy. See, look, imagine it's wet and rainy. Not me, but you could easily have both seats down or both seats up. And then we've got our second row, which has a lot of room. I'm gonna show you how much room is there for headroom and legroom in the back seat as well. Look at that Eco Suede Headliner. That's gonna be one of the first gadgets we talk about. Second row, sunshades. That could be a gadget we talk about. Heated second row seats, I like this. Okay, look at the interior. How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel comfortable, relaxed, chilled out? What about here? So many different colors, textures, feels. I feel it coming. And then look at this right here. This is the driver relaxation seat. I gotta show you this one. It's kind of wild. Looks like something you get on a luxury sedan, like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. Bentley, 12.3 inch screen here, 12.3 inch screen here. I'm gonna show you how they work. Boom, boom, boom. And then we'll check this out, Bose speaker. Sound system. So yeah, we've got performance fast facts here. 2.5 liter turbocharged engine, 277 horsepower, 311 pound feet of torque. Eight speed dual clutch transmission. Has McPherson struts in the front, multi-link suspension in the back. Here's what I know. Driving it on city streets, it has better acceleration than I might've imagined. It gets up to cruising speed really quickly. I'd imagine it does the same with the highway. So that part's nice. Lots of soundproofing here. And then look, it's got the lifts. It's got the struts. Fuel facts. The fuel door is right here. Driver's side, 17.7 gallon fuel tank. You can expect 23 combined. That breaks down to 20 in the city, 28 on the highway. And is this the gadget on the inside? No, not really, but it's close enough to the inside that we gotta talk about it. This panel, whoop, like a secret entrance in a haunted mansion. You just grab onto this and then you can pop yourself up here. Because if you left your Jordans, up here, look at that. That was really cool. Now we're set. Don't leave Jordans up there, folks. PSA. How about in the second row, a couple cool things that you can do with your seat. I can push a lever and it slides. So I dig that. I can push this button right here. And there we go, I didn't hit the button. So now we have an easy way to the third row. Look at that, push a button, it goes back up. Next, I wanna talk about this right here, the 12.3 inch screen. There's so much information that it's hard to even focus on really any one or two things. So we can do our different drive mode changes. We can change climate information, seat information here, lights. Look at that, so you get a lot of control over what you do here. This also has, it's got the power key or power lift gate set up. It opens up the lift gate automatically when approaching with the smart key. So we might want to try that one out. And this has the digital key, which is a smartphone key. You can operate it right through your smartphone. So I like that part. And then driver assistance. So you can change your speed limit warning. So maybe that's something you want to do. Driving safety. So many different safety features here. That's pretty cool, right? If you do the navigation, the map goes the full 12.3 inches. So that's kind of cool. Media, we can set up Sirius XM here. I like the graphics. So look at this, just swipe, AM, FM. We don't want none of that. 
All right, so look at this right here. Phone projection, that's kind of cool. Uh, the seats, what do we want to do here? This is what I wanted to show you. Look, second row seat warmer, second row seat control, and then this one right here, second row seats fold and unfold. So I'm gonna push a button on the screen. And look, it's folding on its own from the driver's side, what? And the seat just folded down. That's pretty nifty. So here's all the room that you can get. And it's also a good time to show you right here that we've got power outlet, USBs, temperature controls, and individual rear third row temperature vents, air vents, I should say. Eco suede headliner. That is nice, it looks so fancy. I wanna write my name in it. Things are about to get loco in here because I'm gonna test out the driver relaxation seat. We're gonna be pushing this button right here. Four-way lumbar support, by the way. Look, even a leg extender. That's nice, but that's not what we're doing right now. We're testing out, watch this, this is so cool. Push a button. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, don't do this while you're driving. Just while you're chillaxing. That is super cool, super comfortable. It feels like a Napa leather recliner. And then we push the button again. We're back, baby. Ooh. And scene. What else can we see? Well, number one, number one and number two, we've got driver memory seats. Lots of ridges, lots of wood grain, lots of soft touch panels. This is high quality, my friends. So this is gonna be at the high end. This is the all wheel drive. So it'll be 48.3 it starts at. You can get one much lower if you go with SE, SEL, XRT, or limited, and then calligraphy, this one right here. Bose sound system. Boom, 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 banging the bass. So we've got accent stitching, little H's. There's branding of H's all over this car, including the front headlights. It's really neat, but this is Napa leather. Pretty nifty. One thing I'd like to see is I'd like to see a power steering wheel. It just feels like it should be there, but it's not. You can change the illumination or the brightness right here, the parking brake, the trunk, and then traction control on and off. This is a fingerprint sensor right here. It's like Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Look at this. We've got paddle shifters right here. Easy to use buttons, controls, and dials. And look at this. Now we've got a 12.3 inch screen. Let's use these controls on the steering wheel to maximize what we see here. So we're gonna push through the filing cabinet here. What kind of information will we find here? Nice. The all wheel drive indicator, so it tells what wheels have torque going to it. I like that. So this is the part that's customizable right here. And I believe that this is a driver attention warning sensor right here. If I'm wrong, just let me know, but that seems to be what it is on most vehicles. So I would imagine it would let you know if you're not paying attention. So we don't want distracted driving. This is different. Yeah, that's very different. So you push in for P, we turn for reverse, we twist, for forward and look at our camera here. That means we got cameras all the way around the vehicle. Pretty neat, right? Let's test out that backup camera again. There we go. Crystal clear has the path that changes and look how it changes on this side as well. While we're over here, we probably wanna show the head up display because that gives us valuable information that's not distracting right in our screen here. So. Maybe that's something you want to see. We go out, we go out, and that's kind of what it looks like. You can usually tell something has a head-up display because it has that panel screen right there. How about this right here? Traditional rear view mirror or digital mirror? Oh, that is nice. That is super cool. So now we can see what's behind us. It's really good on the highway at nighttime or if I just want to study trees. Do we have power folding mirrors? Let's try this button. Oh, we do. Nice, so that's helpful. What about in the center console here? Boom, great place for sunglasses. Nice deep spot there. Bigger 
cups and bottles can fit here. And then look, forget a couple's massage, you can do couple's charging. That is pretty cool with fast charging setup right there. This is for engine start and stop, turn off, downhill assist control. That's for our, ooh, don't show that again. It displays the panoramic view. We got parking sensors we can have on and off and our drive modes. That's gonna be for normal sport. Let's do that. So we got my drive, snow, normal, and sport. So see that kind of changes. While you're driving, if you turn on the turn signal, you can see along either side, just like that. And I just think it's interesting, but you can actually show your RPM right there. So I'm at 700 RPM right now. That's pretty nifty. And look how clear that is. Pretty remarkable, really. Technology, I'll tell you. Down here, we have heated steering wheel. Oh, I like that. Not today. Heated, cooled seats. Yeah, I want the tush warmer. Right here, you can do recirculated air and just, this blows out really well. See it? It'll chill you out pretty fast. It's probably catching on my microphone here. Physical buttons, I love the volume and the tuning right there. So again, a lot of information that we can get off of this. Look at all the different views we can get. Ooh, there's a car coming. Holla. Can set up parking distance warning, grid lines, parking grid lines. Sometimes I swipe because I want to see if there are more screens that I could be telling you about. What's the weather going to be today? There will be intermittent clouds with a high of 72 degrees and a low of 51 degrees in Raleigh today. So yeah, lots of voice commands that you can give through the car's conversational voice system here. Look at that, extra room there, 12 volt circular there. Not gonna lie, one of the most comfortable third row seats I think I've ever been in and I knew it. Love it first bite, I knew it right away. Look at this, I'm five foot eight, but imagine a taller person would be here because I imagine I'm taller. I wish I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a baller. Here's with the seat all the way back. So the room can be more or less, you just kinda have to adjust it like that, just push that button. Oh, that is fancy. It's so fancy. What else do we see in here? Like I said, we've got second row, sunshades, easy to use. And I like that it's got some substance to it. It's got a little bit of thickness to it. You can feel it. Heated seats with three different settings. I like the cup holders right here and a bottle holder. Okay, remember, don't sleep on that Bose system. That is strong, my friends. All the seat controls. I probably should have pushed the seats back a little bit more, but oh well, we'll work with it. Pendaflex right here. Hooks, pixels, pixels. Is this an Ionic 5? All right, look here, we've got USBs. And then look, we can open this from the back as well. Okay, that was unexpected. And then we can open up this. This is probably more expected, but with huge dump bin right here. That was nice. That was impressive. I like it. Call me a fan. Can you see the turn signal indicator? It's right here. I know it's in the sun, but we'll try to find it. And you can see the camera right there. That's for the surround camera. Now, what about we're going over to the front. We're vlogging. Look at me. There we go. Boom. See, it's an H. H. It's like Sesame Street. H. H for hair. All right, look, we've got lines over here. So there's a lot of substance, a lot going on with this. A lot of gloss black accents here. Thick fender treatments, but thin up at the top. Love these wheels, 21 inch wheels, that's solid. And then you'll see gloss black accents pretty much everywhere, even underneath the mirrors, along the pillars. The contrast on this particular color is pretty outrageous. It's a nice, clean, modern, fresh look, right? It's funky fresh. Active grill shutters, look at this right here. That's one reason why we've got efficiency and it gets great gas mileage even though it's so it's so boxy. So we got the radar technology down there, parking sensors, like we said. Look at that, it's a wide, but it's defined hood. Really cool. I just love this new redesign. I really like it. Pop back in. Remember, we use that if we want to get up into our vehicle. And then winding our way around here to the back. 
Got a couple cameras, one's for digital rear view mirror, one's for backup camera. Clean, crisp view. Look at this, we got the LED lights here, the turn signal indicator, and then we've got one exhaust port right there. Pretty nifty, right? My friends, let's talk specs and pricing. So we've got this one right here, the calligraphy. Next level, three row Santa Fe for next level adventures. Here's the fuel mileage I was telling you about. Safety ratings won't show up yet on a vehicle so new. They're working on getting those on the window sticker, I'm sure. So Serenity White Pearl right here. Gray with gray is what it says for the interior. This is going to be so small. I changed it to 0.5 because I want to see if I can see that. But yeah, that might be better. We're going to do this in 0.5 here. America's best warranty. Check out the specs. Just stop the video when you want to learn a little bit more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So here's the pricing. Starts at 48.3. Got a couple options here. And then that ends at 50.375. And that's the most expensive configuration, the calligraphy and the all-wheel drive. Thanks for watching, everybody. We did it. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! We got the calligraphy, all the buttons, gadgets, dials, controls, systems, technology, and multimedia, and conveniences hopefully you can ever find. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate you all. If you know about an extra technology that I didn't mention, because there was a lot, what about the illumination, the ambient lighting? We can change it to multi-different ones. That's on the information display. There's a lot more. Whoo! Thanks guys so much. If you like the video and you like my content, fun, thorough reviews for people who love cars, boom, just hit subscribe right now. Thanks for being here. I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, and I'll see you there. As Michael says, hee hee, ow! I've got a growing supply, a library of Hyundai content, so click the Hyundai playlist, maybe the suggested video, so that you can learn everything there is to know. If you like a specific brand, look for it in my playlist on my channel, Auto Jeff Reviews YouTube, and maybe it'll be just what you're looking for. This grows just about every day. Thanks, guys.